Welcome back guys, it's Hybrid Spectre. So I've got a, another rant video for you. I just kind of realized this is probably my third rant video that I've made. I don't tend to complain about things in my videos too much, but if you ask anyone who plays with me, they say I complain a lot. But there's usually a rational thing for why I complain about the stuff that I complain about. But I've got a complaint and another rant that I want to rant about, and it's about shaders. And I know what you're probably thinking, oh, this has been covered, and he's probably going to say something about putting the shaders back the way they were in D1. No. Actually not. I kind of like the new shader system, I just think it should be revamped. Just a little bit, but that's not the point that I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about the color palettes a little bit. Now, if you're anything like me, you tend to lean towards a very specific color. Me, my favorite color is black. And for, and for all you technical people out there that says black is not a color, I don't care. Black is color, and you cannot convince me otherwise. So I try to get, so I try to color my armor the closest thing to black that I can get. And for right now, I'm using Beyond Horizons on all my armor right now. It's the new uh, Horizons Beyond. It's the new shader that you get in the season pass. And it looks good. It's like a dark navy blue. And I really like it. But in some lights, it appears almost black. Now, back in D1, there was a shader during one of the Halloween event. I think it was the last Halloween event in during Rise of Iron. And it was called Super Black. Aside from a few... Um, Aside from a few textures that didn't get colored with the armor on some armors, it was mainly all black. And we haven't gotten a proper black shader. And this kind of comes down to the color palettes in general with shaders in Destiny. And I want to use and I want to use a very particular example. Um, during the uh, during the Olympic event that we had, the Guardian Games, we got these two shaders here: um, Rivalry Bright Sand, uh, Rivalry White Sand, and Rivalry Black Sand. Now I'm going to turn the attention to Rivalry Black Sand. Now I'm going to preview this here. Now when I th now when you think Rivalry Black Sand, you think there would be more black in it. So why is the, if it's called Rivalry Black Sand, why is most of it white? You see my point? It's pretty much just an overglorified monochromatic, and monochromatic is a pretty good shader. However, if the main, if it's, if Black Sand, if black is in the name, why is my coat not black? Why is most of it white? Although I will say, this is the first time I've actually previewed the shader on this armor set here. It actually doesn't look too bad. But I kind of wish that the coat itself, I just wish that there was more black and less white. And um, there's another thing, and another thing, um, the Curse of Osiris DLC um, shaders, where's the Cairo stuff? Uh, where'd it go? There was, a very, there was one called, um, oh my god, Kairos Black, if I can find it in here. Where did that one go? Activities? Tower? Open world? I think this one's open world, I think. Uh, ah, shoot. How'd that thing go? Right, it's gonna bug me now. Uh, so, but there was a shader during the Curse of Osiris DLC that was called Kairos Black. And there was a, and there was one huge gripe that I had with the name. It's called Kairos Black, but yet it doesn't show up black at all. It turns out it turns up like a like a blue color. And I'm trying to find it here so I can show you what it looks like. And I know what's in here. I've seen it many, many times, and it annoys me how not even anything in its name fits it at all. Where did that shader go? I'm going to lose my mind if I don't find it here. You're kidding. Okay, maybe it's in the Curse of Osiris stuff? No, they wouldn't put shaders in this. 
Well, best explanation I can have for it, this is pretty much Kairos Black. Kairos Black, it looks a lot like that. There's hardly any black in it, and it shows up colors that aren't in that, and it shows up as colors that, that aren't even anywhere close to black. And that irritates the living crap out of me. And I just think, in a lot of, and I think a lot of these don't, we just don't get a lot of, and a lot of the colors here, they don't match the palette in general. Like I said, with, um, Rivalry Black Sand. Why is most of it come up white and not black? I'm starting to wonder if that's more of like a texture issue than anything. I think the closest ones to black are like Bloody Tooth, which I don't even know why that has white. And then see, comes up black with the red accents. It's not bad. I just kind of wish, I just kind of wish the black was a little bit more sleek, but I'm starting to wonder if that's just more of the textures than anything. Uh, first Frost ain't, ain't too bad. But like I said, it's not a black shader, but it does have some black in it. So, I feel and like a lot of these shaders just don't match the palette in general. And I don't know why. I'm not sure if that's just, if, if that's more of a texture issue on the armors or if it's something else entirely. But either way, I just, I think the shaders, I think we need a proper black shader. Like Shadow Strike. When you think of Shadow Strike, you think something black, something dark. Uh... The hell is this? Like this looks like when I think of Shadow Strike, I don't look any. It does, I don't think of blue or like this copper color. Like give it like Bungie, bring back super black or give us a proper black shader. Now you can say shrouded stripes, yes, but but the stripes just kind of kind of ruin it for me and the textures as well. But like I said, it doesn't look bad. I just think it could be better. And, I, and I'm, very, I'm very picky when it comes to my cosmetics. Say what you will about me, but I just think, I think we could use a proper black shader, and I don't think that's too much to ask. Either way, rant over. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I realized that after shooting this video, I found the Kairos black shader. And here it is. Look, none of that looks even remote like what about this color what about this palette here is anything black like this is just false advertising right here why would you put black in the name and i even put black in the palette like <sighs> see this is the problem that i have but anyways i found it i found it and i just finished recording so i'm just gonna tack this on at the end of it so yeah um you see my point proper black shader make the color palettes reflect the colors that they get or just readjust the texture issues or something like that either way i'll see you guys in the next one